A recent article from ABC Southeast titled Millennials Flocking to Mount Gambia for Jobs and Lifestyle, but House Prices Rents Continue to Rise, capture both the positive and negative aspects of this development. It is exciting news that more young people are opting to change scenery and move to our beautiful southeast community, and I warmly welcome them as a proud resident of Mount Gambia. According to data from the Regional Australia Institute, 70 per cent of individuals who relocated to the Mount Gambia local government area in the first quarter of 2023 were millennials. Liz Ritchie, the CEO of the Institute, attributes the surge of young people to affordable housing and increased job opportunities, terming it a regional renaissance. The Big Movers 2023 report by the RAI reveals that an additional 54,000 millennials have moved to Australia's regions compared to the previous five years, reversing a net loss of 37,000 millennials observed from 2011 to 2016. Now, this influx also includes many highly skilled and educated individuals from overseas, showcasing a dynamic change in our regional landscape. Belinda Anderson, who was interviewed uh, by uh, ABC Southeast, who previously lived in Sydney, Birdsville and Mount Isa, has played a pivotal role in expanding the Young Professionals Network, with its membership growing from 500 people to over 1,100 in the past six months. And I commend her and appreciate the vibrancy and talented millennial individuals like Belinda coming to Mount Gambia, our state's second biggest city. However, as the article rightly highlights, the challenge for providing housing for a growing number of young people is certainly there. Domain reports that rents in regional SA have surged by 42 per cent since the start of the pandemic, with medium house sales and rents reaching record levels. And as I've argued previously in my time as Deputy Mayor and as Council of the City of Mount Gambia, to grow the city we can either expand out and take up vital agricultural land or we can grow up and allow for multi-storey living within the city bounds. Large four-bedroom homes are unsuitable for many young professionals, whereas smaller apartments would be more conducive to their lifestyle. And it would improve the vibrancy of Mount Gambia's CBD and free up existing housing stock for families. Non-detached or medium density dwellings, what the RAI refers to as the missing middle, are lacking in our regional towns. Housing diversity is required to ensure we're meeting the needs and preferences of this new cohort of tree changers who are often young, single professionals and skilled tradespeople. All levels of government must work together to ensure sufficient and suitable housing stock is made available to sustain these positive trends in regional migration.